What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave and this is a uh, soap I was looking forward to for a while. This was sent to me by my boy Sefferson Shaves, Sefferson T Shaves here on YouTube. I think he's already approaching his 4,000 uh, subscriber man. He is just skyrocketing. It, it's just, it's astronomical. I've never seen anything like it. He's going to be the next Nick Shaves, just, uh, you know, with a little extra thickness to him. But either way. I'm going to be using Noble Otter Two Kings. This is a rose and oud scent. He wasn't a huge fan of it. I actually love the scent. It does come with the matching aftershave splash. So, oh, happy day. Uh, first off, hey guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Make sure that you click the little bell next to the follow to make sure you get alerts anytime that I post videos. I don't post videos daily. You're probably going to get two to three videos a week from me. And if you want to make sure to catch those, hit the bell and... Yeah, you'll, you'll get notifications when I do uh, post something. Also, you guys probably already seen the slide. Check out the link down below. Check out the Orale Way podcast. It's a new project that me and some friends of mine are doing. Having a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you guys will enjoy. Please drop any feedback you have from that. Um, yeah, so let's get this going. I already have my brush soaking. I got that, that darn Rob, R.I.P. T.D.R with that Lancaster V1 knot in it. And I do have the Noble Otter blooming. So go ahead and dump that bloom water out, give a couple good shakes, and let's load this up. Now I've only used one other Noble Otter soap, Hamami, really like that too. It was a, a very Middle Eastern spicy st style of scent. I really enjoyed it, it was a Patreon giveaway. The Patreon giveaways are coming back guys, I promise you. Uh, it's just been crazy been crazy. I got to situate my spreadsheet for the randomizer and all that stuff And it actually you'd be surprised how long it actually takes uh, And again, depending on what tier you're in you get more entry So that's where it gets a little bit funky and it just takes time, but I do I do have giveaways stacked up We'll probably do multiple weekends Of giveaways for the patrons. I'm probably up to about 10 soaps Also, I do need to divide them up because that gets expensive with shipping um, so, so it'll be a few back-to-back -back weeks, probably multiple winners each weekend. Um, that's coming back real, real soon. Also, one of the issues I keep having is I keep forgetting to bring my computer back from work. And that's where I have the spreadsheets. And I can't do the fucking, uh, the picking without the damn spreadsheet. And, you know, it's just a constant, uh, ugly circle of mishaps. Totally my fault. Totally, totally my fault. But, dude, look at the load on this thing. Jesus. So I'm not super familiar with the Noble Otter base. Because, again, I've only used it once. I did enjoy it. But, since I'm not real tuned in with this, loaded really heavy. Probably too heavy, in my opinion. Look at this thing. Shit. It's like getting on my glasses already. Jesus. Because I want to get a good shave. This is one of my morning shaves, so I want to go off to work. Just feeling good. Nobody wants to fucking go to work with a shitty shave. And I'm sure those of you that shave in the morning regularly. Probably have experienced that, but I'd rather not. Let's avoid that. Let's avoid the shitty shave before work. I think that's going to be good. It looks properly hydrated. I'm not super on the bloop stage. If it bloops, it's just because I actually have a good amount of volume. It's just kind of everywhere. Let's get the whole goatee going. Why not? Just get that. Bam. I'm going to dry off the hands. This is, as per the usual, a straight razor shave. Let's go. We're going with that Odin's Edge. It's in razors. Beautiful. Beautiful. I did touch this up on the Suhiro 20K. Let's see how it goes. I didn't want to do a full on bevel set. I just wanted to get this thing a little bit smoother. It was fine, but it wasn't where I wanted it to be. So we're going to see. I don't know if the touch up is enough. If it's not, I'll do a full rehon after this. Well, not directly after this, but at some point soon. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna. I'm gonna do the full rehaul. I'm not thrilled with the edge. Yeah, come on. I'm going to finish this first pass up. And then I do have my trusty carbon right here. And it'll probably finish up the shade because, yeah, I'm not thrilled with this edge. It's funny because it's not really hurting, but I feel like I'm leaving more hair behind than I really want. Definitely not good enough. You can see a little bit of tugging. And it was a quick refresh right before the shave. So definitely not a lot of time and effort that was put in. I'm, yeah, not liking that at all. You can see a lot of leftover hair. And it is taking hair off, but no, don't like it. So I'm gonna have to do the full honing on that thing because yeah, that's just not good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side, keep it somewhere safe because if something happens to this, I will have a fucking heart attack. And just go ahead and rinse this off, and we'll continue on with the carbon. Yeah, that's that's not a good result at all. Look at that, you can see all that left over here. Not good. Not good at all. I'm going to do the full on bevel set. Because with the Edson razors, you are required to hone them with a layer of tape. The problem with that is, since it requires it, it's a must. That means it was uh, honed with one layer of tape. You don't know how thick that tape was. I have two different electrical tapes one of which is thicker than the other so that's going to make a difference so i'll go ahead probably this weekend no not this weekend i'm gonna be gone this weekend I'm going to vegas this weekend so probably after i get back from vegas i'm gonna go ahead and take care of that yeah see it took off a lot of hair but also left a bunch what a, it was very weird very weird but the carbon will take care of business look at that the carbon never fails. It was a lot of days growth. There's probably about four days growth there. So. It wasn't the easiest of tasks for that razor. But still. It shades better than that. And the refresh. I think it caused more damage than good. Because I just don't know how exactly that bevel was set. The angles and how thick the tape was. So yeah. I'm just going to start off fresh. We're a brand new bevel on that one and go from there. Man, there we go. Work has been going pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I'm not accustomed to having to work with a partner during the summer. I'm working uh, with somebody else. And I kind of like to be just left on my own devices when I'm working. But pretty much having to have small talk all day long, uh, yeah, not really my thing. I can tell you, there's very, very few people in this world that I want to talk to every day. Unless I go seeking you out, you're probably not one of them. I don't want to talk to people every damn day. So. So, that makes things drag a little bit, but. It's good to be working. <laughs> so, the complaints are minimal. Just, of course, you know, I have an opinion on how things are going. 
everybody has their preferences and I'd much rather have to force a small talk than not be working. So you don't want to be too unappreciative. Oh yeah, there we go. Great second pass. Oh, that was much better. That's what a shave should be. That first pass was not up to par at all. I'm flying through this. We're 10 minutes in. I'm already about to be done. Shit. Oh, my favorite pass, the against the green pass. This week, is it this week? I think this week. I'm not sure. This week, yes, this week on Real Talk, Peter Tricalis will be joining us. This will be his first time with both, with both myself and Chris. The last time he was on the show, it was a an episode that Chris missed. And Peter joined me for some nonsense. Peter does these lives and he likes to get a little lathered up. So when I mean lathered up, I mean pickled. When I, when I say pickled, I mean sauced up. When I mean sauced up, he likes to get drunk. So, should be interesting. It's no secret that I don't get that many DE shaves in. But man, when I do, this carbon, it's about as satisfying as can possibly be. Very nice. Beautiful. There you go. That's the end of the third pass, guys. Let me go ahead and rinse off. And we'll come back for the final thoughts. And we are back. And we're going to go ahead and open up this uh, matching aftershave splash. Two kings. The noble otter labeling is just so cool. Uh, a little careless on this one. You got some bubbling. I don't know if you can see that. There's some bubbling on there. A little unfortunate. Not a deal breaker or anything. But I think I'm the third owner of this thing. So um, that could have been an issue with being shipped around so much. I'm not a big floral guy. I do like some rose if it's done right. I do think with the oud, this definitely kind of uh, darkens it, makes it not so uh, granny. I do like rose that's done well, and I think this was done well. I really enjoy it. <sighs> Just like that. Hey, the Noble Otter base, it's really good. For me, do I find it to be one of uh, my favorite? No, not in the top five. It is a nice soap. It is not the densest in my in my opinion. It does have a little bit more of an airiness to it. Not bubbly, it's not fucking whack or nothing like that. But if you're talking about the upper echelon, the absolute elite of the elite, um, it's not quite there for me, but it's still a very good base to the artwork in itself. Makes me want to buy the stuff. Um, and it is more than serviceable. It's, it's damn good. It's just not the elite of the elite in my opinion. Take that for what it's worth, uh, but it is a beautiful presentation on all their soaps love them um definitely something i probably have to get a couple more of because i just really really enjoy how they look like literally if i'm in the restroom pass it by i enjoy how that looks it's just a fucking cool cool just addition to your to your uh to your restroom man it, it literally it has it adds a decorative touch and it's really nice so i do like that um but hey that's it guys oh and the carbon my carbon just does it. So, hey, guys, if you made it to this point of the video, you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, damn, we're back to normal. Somewhat normal. Somewhat normal. We are somewhat normal. L.A. is open. Happy. Uh, just kind of relieved that we kind of made it through the bulk of things. Are, is everything done? No. But I think we're well on our way to being back to 100. So, really happy about that, guys. So, that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shit.